And boom, 96 wood cutting coming in. I'm in the middle of AFKing, uh, I guess as you can see, magic logs. Um, we are currently trying to make a playlist for the live stream. I have uh, two sheets of paper in front of me. I'm through the half, half of the first sheet and I'm already at 500. And uh, I don't, I could probably just pop off. I guess we could go over to our monitor too. And as you can see, we're at 533 songs. And that's crazy. So by the time we're done with both these sheets, we should be about 2,000 songs. And I guess that there would be the perfect um, playlist, pretty much. I'll never have to. Well, I guess I could still add stuff, but still a crazy amount of uh, songs. That means there's no chance of really much repetition within like an eight hour stream. So that's, that's the goal here. Being the good uh, YouTuber I am, I missed out on 100 KC, but 101, actually a pretty decent drop. Mithril and Gold Ore, that's pretty good. But the uh, new prey flicking idea is definitely way better than what I was previously doing. A lot less stressful and annoying. The awkward moment when you see double purple text, but unfortunately nothing, nothing is that spectacular about it. <laughs> God damn it. Unfortunately, the guide I watched didn't really think that prey flicking would be a really good idea. Um, I somehow stumbled across a stream of someone else doing grotesque guardia uh, guardians, and they managed to find a good system. Like for example, here you always run to the same square. The melee will always attack as soon as you see that second blue purple attack. You're able to switch prey. So I don't know if anyone might not know about this. Probably do by this point, to be honest, but. Definitely prey flicking the, these minions are way better than running back and forward because the guy that I showed, uh, saw was using these three or four points or whatever to lure the melee minion into sort of like a dance. And that was just obnoxious to uh, definitely maneuver about pretty much. So it was definitely, oh, I wish you guys never saw that. But yeah. The, the whole prey flicking of these bosses are way better. Ooh, looky we here. Superior Bon, the Marble Gargoyle. Now, as long as he doesn't have any special abilities, we're just gonna hopefully just rush him. Just prey mage, I should be good, right? Trapped in stone. I took a lot of damage from that, actually. Can I avoid it? I'm assuming I can avoid it. It's just like... Okay, that was pretty cool. That was actually interesting to kill because I had to figure out what to do. A bunch of money and a bunch of bars. Okay. Pretty cool. Quickly throw this in. Congrats to Bush Iceman on his visage on 112kc. I'm not too sure what he killed, but congrats. Wow, we killed Jad so fast. Only one healer got to him. And... No pets. Once again, we'll obviously gamble the cape. You're not lucky. Sorry, I'm not an Iron Man. No shout out today. That is something I've been looking forward to. We finally got ourselves some net krill. I believe uh, these have been updated to the point where they have incredibly good drops now. Like I they extended them before. They, it was cool before the drop table was buffed. But I hear they drop a lot of limp words, which is definitely something I am in dire need of. Because we've got 1500 qualms and only 55 limp words and no seeds. Oh my goodness. And 15 noted limp words on the first kill. That is gorgeous. Unbelievably gorgeous. Well, not long into it, about halfway through the task, we get our first superior spawn thanks to Sylvain asking about it. And uh, since he was curious, Jagex thought, hey, let's spawn one in for Stupor. Now, the, the first time I ever got one of these, I remember I forgot to pray melee and I got absolutely murdered. Because so these, these guys mage me, I think. So let's see what we get. Boom. Death runes and law. And coins. Eh, it's okay, I guess. I said I wanted an Abyssal Whip, and I got an Abyssal Whip. Now that means we can maintain a 10 stack of an Abyssal Whip 
when I have to use one to recharge my abyssal tentacle. That is, oh, back to back abyssal tap. Not back, to, literal, but the last two abyssal tasks we've got two a whip each task. Oof, that's beautiful. Well, um, that's not the purple text I was looking forward to. Uh, so that's a uh, dragon med, three curved bones. Um, try to think of the other drops we've gotten. But that let's just say that sucks. That really does suck to see on the ground. The dragon warhammer grind is on point right now. We have killed. 1,548 shaman today. That is disgusting. Actually, I didn't check at the total amount of shamans we're currently at. Uh, we are currently sitting at 14,000 in total, so minus 1,500 from that. Yeah, we're about 12,500 12, kill count. 12,500 kill count for the Dragon Warhammer grind. Oh. Easy clear reward. Ooh, Blackberry and Black Fool Helm G. Interesting. Um, I know we need, I think we need one more piece to the Black G. Yeah, we need the plate body. That is indeed a unique. I think that's two uniques actually. Okay, we can actually put that in our house. I believe we've got a pen penguin mouse, uh, mask in our house. I'm actually going to drop this mask to include the fact that I need a Bandos God Sword and, and a Bandos Cloak just means I'm probably not going to get it done anytime soon. Yeah, I hope so too. And the hard glue coming in with Blue Dragonland Body G. I believe that's a unique as well. It was indeed a unique. So I think. I don't think there's Vams G. So I'm actually going to stick these in the house. Which is nice. That means I get an extra bank slot available. And boom. Nice. I think that's a good sign today. Rune Spear from the Elite Melee Mob. The brown thing. Oh dear. And the elite reward, <laughs> we drop our master clue and we get another master clue back. Okay, that's that's pretty, pretty, pretty nice. Well, let's go. First attempt at Ziliana. I think I need to wait for her to be further over there before I actually go in. The story's over now, I must conclude. I am conflicted watching where I sat still hanging in the balance Not the life I want to live I want to take it all Standing tall Fear I wait the person you are Oh Break out I've got to see Me failing Rune kite shield Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, they changed it. I need to actually attack with this. I remember reading that update. Yeah, they changed it. So Serpent doesn't ve envenom anymore when they attack. So maybe I don't need... I shouldn't bring my Serpentine Helm. So I can actually get rid of that and save the skills for something else. Damn, I wish I killed Sarah before they nursed Serpentine Helm then. Because <laughs> this is awful. Okay, so bones to peaches, we need to change that up. Okay, we don't need that many um, stamina portions because we're still learning. 40 kill count coming in with the coins as standard. I'm actually quite enjoying killing Ziliana, although it's quite taxing to, to be brutally honest. But we're definitely getting the hang of it. But I think 11 kill trips is definitely our best one yet so far. Okay, we have smithed ourselves about 13,000 cannibals. We used 11,000 something at Shemans. We had, no, sorry, that's 11,000. I think we had 11,500 11, granite cannonballs, which got us about 1,500 to 1,600 kills. 
Um, so we've got 15,000 normal, normal cannonballs, so that should again get us roughly 1,500 kills tomorrow morning uh, when we kill some shaman. Hopefully we can finally end the grind at the Lizardman Shaman. We are currently at 12.5 thousand kill count. And this should get us to about 14,000. So hopefully the grind will end soon. I think that's our third Dragon Medhelm from the Lizardman Shaman. Oh dear. Well, we got Cross at the Shaman, so I guess we'll do these clues. Hard clue four. Eh. Eh. That's about it. Okay, let's see how far we can get with this master clue. Um, I can't, we got it, we dropped our Bando's Godsword and Bando's Cloak clue a while ago. And then we got this one fairly quickly back, so let's see. Oh, we finally completed the master clue. Uh, I'm not opening it in the wilderness, obviously. That's that's just going to end in disaster. We might get killed by the Chaos Elemental. That was pretty quick, to be honest. Uh, didn't expect the master clue to be done so quickly. And boom. A lot of stuff, to be honest. 320k. Our first. This is actually our first master clue. I thought we, I thought we completed one before. First master clue complete. Manta rays, really nice, 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 nice. Although we never use the purple sweets. Okay, let's go kill Abyssal Sire. Try to get the pet. Okay, someone suggested to me, I think it was Fet Nerd, sorry, yeah, I believe it was Fet Nerd. Shout out. Uh, the house method to kill the Abyssal Sire. Now, this method technically, although you can see my inventory, I do have staminas. Uh, I have developed a method now where I don't need any food, no staminas, no blood barrage. I do bring one or two food just to ensure any sort of security or slip up on my part because I can sometimes mess up on the poison by either reading Twitch chat or something like this, looking off to my second monitor and taking a bunch of damage. But basically you get full range set with range pots. I've got hundreds of them, so I may as well use thousands of them, sorry, and use them because they kill the respirators pretty much without any problems whatsoever. And then obviously super combats for the melee stats to kill Sire. No prayer pots, no food. I do use Blood Barrage in this clip, but I've developed a method to no longer have to require needing that because I've there's specific points you can walk to to avoid the poisons, etc, etc. So it's just a, a little learning method there. But the insane part is I enjoy killing the Sire. The boss I hated the most, the boss that tilted me the most, and now the pet hunt for this boss is on. Well, 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 double shield left half drop from the Sire. I think that is our first. I'm actually not even mad. Like, that's the crazy part. This this new, new style of Sire is actually enjoyable. So I'm not even mad. Uh, I'm currently messing about with uh, some settings. And uh, uh, with YouTube Live and the whole copyrighted music problem. And we go and get ourselves a Sire. 1597, that's 3 on Syed within the last 84 kills, that's nuts. And what are we going to get for the unsired? Jaw of Miasma. Jaw of Miasma. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And the last kill of the task, almost dying, got ourselves air battle stats. Although the unsired on the third to last kill was a quite the surprise for the jaw of miasma i actually don't think i have one in my bank i do believe that might be my first jaw of miasma so we need to go and double check to see if it is actually a unique item oh no we already got one oh well at least that's an extra one to the collection completely forgot about the elite clue i don't know where i got it from and the reward is pretty okay the lumberyard teleports saved it there that is Fantastic. They're actually very useful and I have very limited supply. So I was informed that there's been an update to Motherlord Mine, um, luckily. Apparently the empty sack can be upgraded to hold even more ore. Luckily I still had 200 nuggets in the bank account. So anything left to unlock you, pay me 200 nuggets, boom. So I guess that will make Motherlord Mine, when I finally get around to it, maybe consider AFKing here at some point. Fairly soon, I think, maybe. I uh, can already go and climb a ladder, restricted mind, blah, blah, blah. I've got everything, that's fine. 
And then I think all of our excess stuff, we're probably just gonna buy bags, bag full of gems. Just a little, just a little tidbit. Now I read that there's been an update where this bank chest is now in the gem mine in Shiloh Village, Shiloh Village, however you want to pronounce it. Um, turns out to be really, really nice. I might stay here for a while. Um, I think I might invest in trading these in for trading sticks to maybe consider buying Karambuans. Uh, just because if I want to consider doing some other content, it might be a good idea to stock up on that. Plus, I believe there's new jewelry now that uses the opals and the jades and the topazes. And some of them are actually very beneficial. I think some of them teleport me to some common uh, hard clue teleports such as the bandit camp for example or the chaos uh place with all the chaos wizards and like level 14 body that's pretty nice plus i get some sapphires i really need to stock up on sapphires um I'm, for some reason i'm really low on them uh the first series of the new silver jewelry that we're going to make is the going to start with the burning amulet this is the one that teleports means in the wilderness which will be very beneficial for doing hard clues a lot quicker okay so i'm currently looking at the jade jewelry for the silver jewelry sorry and it seems there's not too much available i'm thinking of making the jade amulet which is a five percent chance of a four dose potion being created when making a potion like for example if i do that with the uh, prayer pots or super restores but it's only five charges that means I only get five pots per jade, but maybe that might be worth it. Um, well, thankfully I somehow checked, and now there's the basement to the Slayer, Dun uh, Slayer Tower, which means we get to have private rooms specifically for Slayer tasks. So we've got Blood Veils, Gargoyles, I think Necrilla Nec over here. Vessel Demons, Necril, nice. Okay, that's really nice. But it's especially nice with goggles because upstairs is absolutely jam packed with stuff. Dude, second kill of the task, we get a superior spawn. That's nice. Dead. Gold bars, oh, that's disgusting. Not even 20 kills into the task, we've got a second superior spawn. I'm still triggered by that Iron Man not picking up the gold ore. He's 57 smithing. He needs every experience he can get. Rune plate legs. And coins. Not much coins. Okay, I'll, I'll take the rune plate legs. I would have ta I would have taken an, an imbued heart or eternal slayer gem though. Hey, Gogo's coming in strong with the hard clue, man. We're getting pretty lucky, although I wish... The marbled god uh, gargoyle gave us something a bit nicer. Can we get third age legs? We can get a pile of all oh my disgustingness. Ooh, we got the granite hammer. I think this is pretty much the exact same as the rock hammer. But we can actually wield it. That really looks kind of cool. Not too bad, not too bad. How much is it actually worth? 680k what am i missing something here how oh, i'm not i've read the description of it there's nothing really anything special a lot and 200 kill you're actually pretty goddamn nice well we managed to get ourselves 176 hellhound task i am tempting to go Tempted to go to Cerberus and get to 2,000 kill count. Or I might just do the entire task here. I'm not too sure what I want to do. Because of my pot supply. I don't know if I have enough. Enough to kill Cerberus. Or at least an entire task worth. I think I do. Can't remember how many kills 6 pot, 3 pots gets me. But we'll find, we'll find out.